Hello everyone, welcome back to Nurses, the heart of healthcare. Keep learning, keep growing. My name is Shanaz and in this video, let's all of us learn one very simple and important uh, manual which plays an important role in the management of BPPV that is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo and the name of the manual is Epley manual. But before moving ahead, a small and gentle reminder to all my lovely viewers that if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and if you find the content helpful, please do like and share my videos and I thanks uh, heartfully to all my present subscriber for subscribing my channel for liking it for commenting it you know each and every like each and every subscriber each and every comment is very precious to me thank you so much for motivating me now coming to Epley manure Epley manure it is also known as canalith reposition uh, procedure okay CRP why is it so we'll understand it as we move ahead Okay, so Epley Manual, it was designed by Dr. John Epley and it is nothing but a series of physical uh, or the, I can say it's a series of head movements which is used to relieve the symptoms of BPPV that is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Okay, so as we all know that BPPV, it is the most common cause of vertigo wherein the patient will have mild to intense dizziness. Okay, they have the sensation of the spinning that inside of their head is spinning or the things around them are spinning and which increases the risk of fall. Yes, so this uh, BPPV is nothing but it's a inner ear disorder or a vestibular disorder uh, wherein, uh, you know, the body's balance, there is a disturbance in that. Okay. But uh, before moving ahead with what is Epley Manual and how it is helpful in treating uh, BPPV, let's quickly revise about what happens in the BPPV, okay? And uh, my last video was about BPPV itself. Yes, hope you all watched it and liked it and found it useful. Uh, let's quickly revise what happens in BPPV. Now, see here, BPPV, as I said, it's a vestibular disorder which occurs because of the dislodgement of these tiny crystals, these crystals that you can see over here, these tiny calcium carbonate crystals, when they get dislodged from their original place. See, the original place where God placed them in the inner ear, in this uh, vestibular labyrinth, it is atrical. Okay, atrical one place is there called atrical. They, these crystals are supposed to be naturally present over there. Okay, in the atrical. And uh, their function is, uh, you know, what we say, maintaining the balance okay body's balance in short okay and uh, these are semicircular canals which are filled with the fluid and the movement of this fluid gives messages to the brain uh, how far and in what direction and with what force the head is moving okay so they have their own role now what happens is because of some reason these tiny calcium carbonate crystals which are known as canalith or otoconia they get displaced from atrical into the semicircular canal okay now what happens uh, with the movement of the fluid here with slight movement of the head also these crystals also move and they give uh, false messages or we can say they give confusing messages to the brain that you know mm, the head is moving regarding the movement of the head and the body's position and this results in that uh, episodes of uh, vertigo or the spinning sensation dizziness okay so Epley manual is used to bring back this displaced calcium carbonate crystals from the semicircular canal into the atrical okay so this manual is used to uh, you know replace those tiny crystals which are known as canaliths back into their original place that is the reason this manual is also known as canalith reposition uh, procedure okay that is crp fine hope it is understood okay now then next let us see now when a patient comes to emergency department you know with the complaints of dizziness with the changes in the position of the head and you know lightheadedness and all that you know usually sometimes uh, these symptoms can be confusing with stroke okay but usually after the examination they will be diagnosed with BPPV and they will be given injection stemital and uh, uh, the physiotherapist will be asked to demonstrate I mean to perform Epley manual on them and some physical exercises will be advised to help with the 
symptoms okay so bpp we let's see how we'll do the apply manual it is step by step and very interesting manual very simple see it is non -ex i said that it is very simple because even uh, self can be done but uh, if a physiotherapist or a trained healthcare professional performs it it can be more effective okay then uh, uh, it is non expensive because you know you does not require any equipments uh, to do this manual okay all that you require is a flat bed to make the patient lie on and a pillow that's it okay and uh, it is very safe and effective also okay so let's see step by step the first step is in the first step the position you can see over here i hope i'll try my best to cover it okay so in the first step what you will do is see the patient uh, first you have to make the patient uh, always like any other procedure you have to explain the procedure to the patient that what you're going to do okay with the epi manure okay and during the epi manure that you know they may uh, the symptoms of the uh, bppv can become more intense okay they may have more intense dizziness and all that they may have nystagmus okay all these symptoms but it is it, uh, it is only for a uh, short time okay it will fade off once it is done so that has to be explained to the patient okay and then once you gain the patient's confidence so you will make the patient lie i mean you will make the patient uh, uh, in a sitting position okay like this the patient will be sitting uh, on the bed or uh, whatever you have a flat surface okay and then the pillow should be placed in uh, such a way that when you make the patient lie flat on the bed it should come under the shoulders okay not under the head the pillow should come under the shoulders okay so the procedure starts with with the first step patient sitting in a uh, in a sitting position this way okay with the legs extended and then next you will turn the patient heads toward the affected ear okay for example if the patient is uh, the right ear is affected then you will turn the patient's head towards the right if the left ear is affected you will turn the patient's head towards the left okay so you have to turn the patient's head towards the affected ear about 45 degree okay this way i hope it is clear okay 45 degree okay and then immediately you will make the patient lie flat on the bed like this okay in such a way that you know the that pillow should come under the shoulders okay and the head is extended about 25 to 30 degree this way okay and you will keep the patient in this position for about 30 to 60 seconds okay and during this period you will notice that the patient is having nystagmus that is eye twitching okay and then um, after uh, the patient stays in this position for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds next you will turn the patient head uh, slowly 90 degree towards the unaffected side okay 90 degree towards the unaffected side and then you will hold the head in this position for about 30 to 60 seconds and from that position again you will turn the head more 90 degrees towards the unaffected side okay in such a way that uh, you know the ear becomes parallel to the ground okay and you will keep the patient in this position for about 30 to 60 seconds okay then uh, the patient's body is also turned towards the left okay and you will flex the patient leg preparing the patient to come out of the bed in a sitting position okay and then see the patient will be in this position okay then slowly the patient will keep the patient's legs on the ground and they will come back to the sitting position with the head in the same position okay extended this way okay then gradually you will turn the patient to the center patient's head to the center okay each position you have to maintain the head position for about 30 to 60 seconds the entire procedure may take about 5 to 10 minutes okay and uh, each position should be maintained for about 30 to 60 seconds and this uh, different a uh, series of head movements that we are doing due during this epi manure will help in the uh, bringing back or repositioning the canalith or the otoconia that tiny calcium crystals from the semicircular canals back to the utricle where they belong as you can see here from semicircular canal we are bringing back them to the utricle okay like this okay so this is epi manure which is very simple useful and uh, non-expensive and uh, it can be done okay so it, it can be performed self also but it requires a little bit of training and if it is done correctly it is really effective and safe okay so this was a plea manure to treat BPPV. If you found it helpful, please do like, share, comment and subscribe my channel Nurses the Heart of Healthcare. Okay. The thought of the day is tough times never last but tough people do. So 
please be physically mentally and spiritually strong okay uh, and stop having self pity make your obstacles stepping stones to success okay keep moving don't stop for anyone okay keep moving be strong and face the situation and as i always say help others in whatever way you can okay thank you so much for watching and stay connected with nurses the heart of healthcare